find their their pool of receivers? Yes. How do they rate? Because you've seen some good ones this year. I mean, I mean you, you just line up week to week, you're going to see a good core. I mean, these guys are big, they're fast, they're physical. Uh, they can stretch you vertically. They, they do a great job in the quick you know, passing game. They block down the field. Uh, I mean, they're big. You know, there's some 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and some 6'2", 200-pound guys that can run. And, uh, you know, it's not just one or two. It's probably five or six of those guys that are very talented. Still a game to go, but uh, how would you grade your group overall just on, on the production for the regular season? I mean, I think you've got to look at the stats. I think our pass defense efficiency was, was pretty high this year. Uh, getting off the field on third down, I think, is, is, is one of the keys and one of the pillars that we built this defense on, and, and we were pretty good on third down. I mean, that means you need to make plays, and we played a lot of man coverage, and, and these kids did, didn't balk at the challenge. Um, you know, I think as a whole, the whole secondary, I, I, I'd give them definitely a passing grade. It's not a failing grade. I don't go in A, B, C, D, and all that good stuff. I thought the kids, they rose to the occasion this year, and they matured. I mean, you take that group of kids two years ago, and, you know, you had a bunch of individuals that hadn't played much Division One football. Now, you know, they've got a lot of good fundamentals and tools in their, in their toolbox to, to overcome some of the adversity they're going to see every week. Going, going back to you. I didn't think that he changed or allowed you to do what I asked you to do that maybe fit more to what you uh, what you're comfortable with. Because it seems like he talked to a lot of guys and said, "All right, what, how can we best wrap this person up? What you well, want to do?" The good thing about Tony and I is we've both been in the stack. Uh, we've both been in the three four. We've both been in the four three. And when you start adding up years of experience, we've both been doing this a long time. And uh, you know, his expertise, my expertise, and, you know, Coach DeForest and, and so on and so forth, Coach Bradley, Coach Cogdell, you know, it wasn't just one main focus, even though the focus was on we're going to run the defense, we're going to run, how can your talents, you know, add to what we're doing? And, and it's just little bits and pieces of things, you know, like techniques, um, you know, not having one uh, thought on how to, you know, do press man. Well, there's a lot of different thoughts out there. As long as it's curtailed to what those kids can do, we're going to be successful on the field. And that's what Tony allowed us to do. He allowed us to coach at a level that is comfortable within what we're doing as, as individual coaches that will marry with what we're doing as a team. But things like more man to man, so you played a lot of man that's your more than last year. That's exactly like what you want to do. Right? Exactly. I'm a man to man. Right, yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, as long as we can, you know, go out there with the mindset we're going to dictate tempo, yeah, we're going to throw the, you know, the quarterback and curveball here and there with some zone drops and things of that nature. I think the best thing we did this year is we affected the quarterback and we controlled the line of scrimmage on the third down. And with that, you know, we were able to have great pass defense and get off the field and give our offense a chance to get more points.